Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how do I add, subtract, or m multiply matrices. Now, there's a couple of rules to, to keep in mind. Uh, let's start off first with addition and subtraction of matrices. Now, when you add or subtract matrices, the one prerequisite that you really got to keep in mind is that both, that matrix A is identical to matrix B when it comes to structure. In other words, if matrix A was, let's just say, 3 by 2, 3 rows, 2 columns, the matrix B also has to be 3 rows and 2 columns. You cannot add and subtract matrices of different shapes. They have to be the same structure. You can't subtract a 3 by 2 uh, by, let's just say, a 2 by 4. You really can't do that. The structures of both matrices have to be the same. Now, when it comes to adding and subtracting them, though, all you need to do is subtract and add the corresponding entry. So let's just say if you had a 3 by 2 uh, matrix, let's just say you have 2, 1, 0, negative 3, 5, 2, and then you have 1, 7, 2, 4, negative 5, 1. Whether you're adding or subtracting, you would add the corresponding entries like 1 and 7, 0 and 2, negative 3 and 4, and keep on going. Now, when it comes to multiplying, what you want to consider is the number of columns in A have to equal the number of rows in B. So it's a little bit more flexibility, but you have to ensure that the number of columns in A will match the number of rows in B. So for example, if you had A being 3 by 2 and B was a 2 by 4, the number of columns in A and the number of rows in B match, and what you will have at the end is a 3 by 4 matrix. So when you add, subtract, and multiply matrices, you have to be sure that they follow in terms of structurally those uh, given conditions. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a strategy on how to uh, add, subtract, and multiply matrices.